Hi, Hannah Mason here, and in today's Spark, we're going to be exploring what happens when you tell a lie often enough. So I have a confession to make. Those of you who know me well know that I'm challenged with migraines every once in a while, and it's something that I really struggle with. And those of you who know me really, really well know that there's a statement that I make more often than I would like. And that is when I face something that I find challenging or frustrating or annoying, I say, oh, that's such a headache. Or this thing is going to be such a headache. Or I can't believe I have to travel so far. It's such a headache. And Marissa Peer, who's uh, a mentor I've been following for the past year, talks a lot about the language that we use shaping our physiology and our reality. And if she says, you keep talking about something being a headache, don't be too surprised when headaches come up in your life. She says people talk about something being a pain in the neck, or this thing is going to break my back, or this thing is going to kill me. She says the language that you use really affects you. Now, Bruce Lipton, who some of you have heard I've been really into lately and I've been following, He's a geneticist who talks about how the medium, the culture medium that we put a stem cell into will define what kind of cell that becomes. So all stem cells are exactly the same. They all have the exact same genetic material. But if you put them into one kind of chemical medium, one cell will become a muscle cell and another one will become a heart cell and another one might become a brain cell. It just depends on the medium that you put that cell into. But what's so incredible is that there's the different types of body part mediums, but the medium can also be affected by our mental state. So if we're in a stressful mental state, we're going to pump tons of stress hormones into our body that totally change our physiology and totally change our behavior. And if we're in certain mental states or believe certain things, that's what we manifest in our reality. And what's so incredible is like you might hear that in like all different new age circles and I've been hearing that for years but he really goes into the biology of how that happens he writes about it in his book biology of belief I highly recommend you read it I highly recommend I read it so far I've just been following him on video and audio so in any case so something I've been saying a lot over the course of my life is this is such a headache this is such a headache and when I heard Marissa Peer talk about the language that we use shaping us I was like oh my gosh I totally talk about life being a headache. I really need to change that. Except that it's become such a habit, I don't know exactly how to change it until I started listening to Bruce Lipton. Now, Bruce Lipton says that there are two ways that we can change our programming. He says that we develop our programming up until the age of seven. We literally create the story of our lives, the story of who we are, how the world is, how other people are, how the divine is. We define all of that up to the age of seven. Why up to the age of seven? Because that's the point at which our brain shifts out of being in a mostly theta state into the normal brain state that we're in now. So when we're in theta state, which is the state that we're in under hypnosis or right before we fall asleep, that's when we're like super programmable and we have total access to the subconscious mind, which is where most of our mental power is. And when we're in theta, we can program whatever we want into ourselves. Now, as children, we don't think about what we want our program to be. We just observe the world and program ourselves that way. We model the behavior of the people around us, particularly our parents and other meaningful adults in our lives. And we look at what they do and develop beliefs about the world. Now, I might develop a different belief than you based on the same parent behavior, but we're still going to develop a very, very core belief that's going to get ingrained in us. He said the other way that we can program our minds nowadays as adults is through repetition. Repetition is the thing that you use to learn the alphabet. It's the thing that you learned uh, to learn how to drive, right? So the first time you said the alphabet, you had to think about every letter. And now if I ask you to sing the alphabet song, it'll just come right out of your mouth. You don't even have to think about it. With driving, it's the same thing. You could be on a phone call and change the radio station and simultaneously be driving. And you could drive for an hour and forget the entire drive. Why is that? Because your conscious mind, more often than not, isn't involved in driving if you're an adult. Your conscious mind is busy doing other things. So who's doing the driving? Your subconscious mind. You've repeated driving so many times that now it's become a subconscious behavior, just like beating your heart or breathing 
or swallowing. Most of those behaviors get done by the subconscious so that your conscious mind can be engaged in new, creative, and exciting acts. So what you want to do is shift things into the subconscious, program things that you want for your life. So if you just keep saying the same thing over and over again, some people call these affirmations and they sound really hokey and really cheesy. And for most of us, they feel like we're telling a lie. Like if I say life is a breeze, life is a pleasure, I a little bit think that I'm lying and it sounds kind of hokey and cheesy. It doesn't matter. Hitler got it really, really right on this one. He's such a good teacher for us on this one, one principle. Say a lie often enough and it will become everyone's reality. So you just keep saying that lie all day long. Repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it. The other thing that you can do is record the entire story that you want to be your story about life and your story about yourself. Record it and play it in your ears while you sleep. And while you're sleeping, your brain is totally in theta state, totally programmable. You're literally hypnotizing yourself to believe what you want to believe in order to manifest the life that you want, the life experience that you want, the health that you want. Now, confession, my husband doesn't even know this. I'm going to share right here for the first time. What I've been doing uh, during my meditation sessions every morning is I've been watching my breath, which is something that we learned how to do, just observing your breathing. And as I'm observing my breathing, I say a statement that I want to program into myself over and over and over again. And for me, I really want to settle into my body more than I have ever in my entire life. So the thing I'm saying over and over again is I choose life. This is actually a mitzvah for the Jewish people, a commandment we've been given in the Torah that I don't think I've ever embraced absolutely fully. So that's what I'm working on right now. I can't believe I'm sharing this. It's like the most vulnerable thing to share, but that's the thing I'm working on right now. And I'm saying it hundreds of times every single morning. And I'm feeling more and more right now in the presence talking to you how excited I am to be alive, how excited I am to share what I'm learning, how excited I am to grow, and how excited I am to go into the last day of Passover when the Jewish people yet again will repeat the story we've been repeating thousands of times over thousands of years, that redemption is always possible, that we are here to grow, that life isn't just a loop circ circulating for nothing, that life does have meaning and purpose, and that there is a higher power that is absolutely wondrous, that is always protecting us and always looking out for us, and always ready to redeem us when we're ready to be redeemed. Wishing you an amazing weekend. Want to experience more vibrance, clarity, and joy in your life? Book a guaranteed session at hannamason.com slash joy.